Hey Defenders, welcome back to our channel. So how often do you use virtual machine? How often do you use virtual box? How often do you use virtual PC? How often do you use uh, hypervisor? How often do you use Proxmon? You know, these are all virtual platforms where you can actually load operating system on top of the existing host OS, right? Let me tell you, you really do not require to download and install virtual machines from third party websites because Windows today by default offers you something called the sandbox, right? What is a sandbox? We all already know a sandbox is an environment where you are isolating yourself from that particular sandbox, right? Sandbox, the word itself says, it is a separate environment. You are in a separate environment, that's a separate environment. Whatever you do in that environment will not impact your environment, right? So let us understand what is sandbox and how to enable Windows 10 sandbox, right? Enable virtualization, right? Ensure the virtualization is enabled on your system BIOS. On your system BIOS, when the system boots up, you will have to make sure you open the BIOS and enable virtualization. That's the first step you have to do. Otherwise, this will not work, right? Two, what you have to do is enable Windows feature. Go to control panel, navigate to programs, and then click turn Windows feature on or off or you can directly go to start run in run you can say app wizard.cpl app wizard.cpl application wizard.cpl stands for control panel once you do that you get a pop up on your pop up left hand side you can see turn windows feature on off clicking that you will be able to see a list of uh, applications available there and one of the application would say windows sandbox right and there would be a radio button there you will have to check the radio button and say okay once you say okay it would actually install a sandbox environment on your own host os however it would require you to restart your uh, system or reboot your system to log in into that particular environment and get started am i clear once you're done using sandbox Launch the Windows Sandbox after enabling the feature. You can find the Windows Sandbox in the start menu itself. Run the application. Copy and paste applications or files that you want from your host OS to the guest OS, which is a, uh, another version of Windows that you actually have loaded through the Sandbox. You don't need to go through the process of loading ISO file you know of windows and installing it and so on it's very simple all you have to do is just have a sandbox on and you will have an environment up and running and uh, it is also used for multiple activities one is uh, testing unwanted softwares or potentially malicious software or visiting a malicious website or a link right and uh, these are all potential use cases or you can also typically use it for areas when you do research right so this is called the Windows Sandbox and it comes really handy, especially when you want to try out, understand malware, ransomware, etc. And you can also make sure you are running in a completely isolated environment, right? You don't need to go through the process of installing VM or anything of that sort, right? So I hope you all love this, right? In case you found this information useful or informative, please consider sharing and subscribing. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech insights on cybersecurity.